In the new European naval race, Italy has quietly positioned itself as one of the most ambitious players. While the headlines in recent years have focused on Britain's Type 26, France's FDI, or Germany's F-126, the Italian Navy has embarked on a program that could define the next phase of European maritime power. The Frem Evo Frigate Built by the Fincantieri Leonardo joint venture Orizzonte Sistemi Navali, the Frem Evo, short for Evoluzione, is not just an upgrade, but a complete reimagination of the multi-mission frigate concept that began as a joint Franco-Italian project in the early 2000s. It represents Italy's determination to move from cooperation to leadership in the construction of advanced surface combatants. The original FREM project symbolized the promise of European defense integration. France and Italy developed parallel variants, but after more than a decade of divergence, the partnership matured into friendly competition. The French went on to build the air defense-oriented FREMDIER and later the new FDI Belhara class. Italy, instead of following that path, decided to build its own evolutionary branch, one that would consolidate all the lessons learned from previous designs and merge them with new national technologies. This move coincided with Rome's broader ambition to achieve strategic autonomy in defense and to ensure that its naval industry could compete directly with Paris and London on the global export market. Technically, the Frem Evo is a major leap beyond the current Bergamini-class Frem frigates. Displacing around 7,000 metric tons and measuring 145 meters in length, it will be larger, more powerful, and far more digitalized. The ship's combat system revolves around the Kronos Grand Naval Radar, a fully active electronically scanned array with four fixed panels integrated into Leonardo's Athena Combat Management Network. The sensor suite fuses radar, electronic warfare, sonar, and satellite data into a single automated picture of the battle space. The ship will carry between 16 and 32 vertical launch cells for Aster-15 and Aster-30 surface-to-air missiles, eight launchers for the new TCO Mark II Extended Range Anti-Ship and Land Attack Missile with a range beyond 360 kilometers, and advanced sonar and torpedo defense systems. A flight deck and hangar will support the NH-90 or AW-101 helicopter and unmanned aerial systems. This transformation is not limited to sensors and missiles. The Frem Evo will incorporate open architecture software, modular weapon spaces, and extensive power reserves to allow future upgrades such as directed energy weapons or cooperative drone control. Every subsystem is designed with cyber resilience and data sharing in mind aligning with NATO's digital fleet standard. For the Italian Navy, these ships are the backbone of the future fleet. Multi-mission platforms capable of air defense, anti-submarine warfare, and command and control operations for carrier or amphibious task groups. The industrial side of the story is equally significant. The Frem Evo contract signed in July 2024 is valued at approximately 1 billion 200 million euro for the first two ships with deliveries scheduled before 2030 italy plans to acquire up to 10 vessels by 2035 under the naval law investment framework worth around 20 billion euro fincantieri provides the hulls and propulsion integration while leonardo develops the electronics command systems and radar MBDA supplies the missile suite, ensuring that the entire program is anchored in Italian and European technology. Beyond shipbuilding, the program sustains tens of thousands of skilled jobs and preserves Italy's status as one of the few European countries with a complete naval industrial chain, from design to weapon integration. The strategic implications are profound. With Frem Evo, Italy aims to extend its maritime reach beyond the Mediterranean. The Italian Navy's operations already span from the Adriatic to the Gulf of Guinea and the Indo-Pacific, where the carrier Cavour and frigate Francesco Morosini have represented Rome's flag in recent years. 
FREM AVO will strengthen those missions by providing long-range air defense, networked targeting, and anti-submarine coverage for expeditionary groups. Together with the Volcano-class logistic support ships and the future nuclear-powered carrier Trieste II Italy envisions a full Blue Water Task Force by the mid-2030s. This expansion also has a geopolitical dimension. China's growing influence in the Mediterranean, through port investments in Piraeus and elsewhere, has pushed European powers to reassert naval presence in their southern flank. For Rome, Frem Evo is both a response and a signal. Italy intends to secure its maritime lifelines and contribute to NATO's deterrence posture while maintaining freedom of navigation in the Indo-Pacific. The ships will serve as flexible tools for diplomacy, crisis response, and deterrence, giving Italy leverage in any future coalition operation. Economically, the Frem Evo opens new export horizons. Fincan Thierry has become a major global player after successes with the Qatari Doha-class Corvettes, Indonesian PPA sales, and the U.S. Constellation-class derivative. The EVO design is expected to appeal to mid-sized navies seeking advanced but affordable frigates, Greece, the Philippines, and Egypt among them. With high commonality to NATO systems and a modular architecture, the ship is positioned as Europe's most versatile export frigate for the next decade. Each export contract also strengthens Italy's industrial base and diplomatic influence, reinforcing the link between defense production and foreign policy. However, there are challenges. Italy's defense budget, at roughly 1.6% of gross domestic product, remains below the NATO benchmark. Sustaining a 10-ship program will require political commitment across multiple governments and stable funding through 2035. The ship's complexity introduces technological risk. Integrating next-generation sensors and new missiles without cost overruns will test even Fincantieri's disciplined project management. Moreover, within Europe, competition from France's FDI and Britain's Type 26 could fragment demand rather than consolidate it. Yet Rome appears ready to assume that risk, seeing industrial self-reliance as a strategic goal in itself. Compared with its peers, the Frem Evo occupies a unique position. France's Frem DA emphasizes area air defense, the British Type 26 focuses on anti-submarine warfare, and the Spanish F-110 balances both at higher cost. Italy's design combines these roles in one balanced platform, optimized for the Mediterranean and global deployments alike. Its cost-to-capability ratio could make it the most efficient frigate class in Europe. By 2035, if current plans hold, the Italian fleet could field 10 EVOs, 8 PPA patrol frigates, and 2 aircraft carriers, placing Italy among the top 3 European navies in operational strength. In strategic perspective, the Frem Evo is more than a ship. It is a statement about Italy's place in Europe's security architecture. As the continent rebuilds its naval power amid global competition, Rome seeks not to follow, but to shape the agenda. The project unites technological innovation, industrial policy, and foreign strategy into one coherent vision, a European fleet capable of independent global action, but firmly anchored within NATO's collective defense. Beneath this, the quieter current is the rebalancing of power between Europe and the Indo-Pacific. China's expansion and the erosion of the maritime status quo have made sea power relevant again, and Italy wants a voice in that conversation. By the mid-2030s, when the Frem Evos form the core of Italy's navy, the Mediterranean may no longer be seen as Europe's boundary, but as its gateway to global waters. Each frigate will embody the dual identity of modern Italy, a nation deeply European, strategically Atlantic, and increasingly Indo-Pacific in outlook. The Frem Evo thus becomes both the tool and the symbol of a country reclaiming its maritime destiny, one ship at a time. Before you go, subscribe and support this channel for more in-depth defense analysis grounded in facts and strategy. And share your thoughts below. 
Should Italy focus on becoming Europe's naval hub in the Mediterranean or push further into the Indo-Pacific alongside its allies? The race for European sea power has already begun, and Italy's Frem Evo is sailing at the front of it.